Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the Oswald ripening concept. Oswald ripening ripening concept is uh, usually found in the pharmaceutical suspension. As we know that the pharmaceutical suspension means solid particles suspend in a liquid vehicle and the ideal pharmaceutical suspension is said to be when the particle size is in 0.5 to 5 micron then it is called the stable suspension or or ideal suspension but upon the long time of duration of this storage of this pharmaceutical suspension this solid particles try to tend towards the another particles and form a bigger particles means one molecules goes on another molecules to form a bigger molecules therefore the particle size will be greater and if the particle size will be greater then it creates the stability problem means it is totally instable suspension so therefore this phenomena is known as this oswald ripening in short this oswald ripening is a one of the instability problem in pharmaceutical suspension in this the enlargement of particle size enlargement of particle size upon the storage in suspension see upon long time of storage of suspension the particle size enlargement called it as the crystal growth and this is due to the oswald ripening means simply it is known as the oswald ripening concept see briefly this concept is when drug material is in dispersed state drug material is in dispersed state that means the small particle will have the higher solubility than the large particle right basically small particle will have higher solubility because particle size matters particle size if there is a less then solubility will be the higher right as this result there will be a concentration gradient between drug solution and the solid particles difference in concentration drug solution and solid particles higher drug concentration found on surrounding of larger particle why because larger particle surrounds the smaller smaller particles and smaller particle possess the higher concentration so here the fixed first law of diffusion is occur as per this fixed first law of diffusion the particle diffuses from higher concentration to lower concentration right that is simply the environment of smaller particle diffuses to the surrounding to the large particle as this results the concentration of the drug decreases around the small particles while concentration of the drug increases around small uh, so around large particles see i repeat this sentence as this result concentration of drug decreases around small particles why concentration of drug decreases around small particle because diffusion of this particle taking place to higher drug concentration to lower drug concentration simply that means the smaller particle will have the higher concentration and this higher concentration towards goes towards the larger particles so therefore this movement is taking place and therefore it leads the concentration of drug decreases around this smaller particle right then drug is crystallized on the large particle means here the crystal formation taking place and this is known as the crystal growth and this leads the instability problem this the smaller particle become still smaller and larger particle become still larger and this phenomena is known as the oswald ripening it could result in pharmaceutically unstable suspension and alter the bioavailability of the product through altering dissolution rate means if there is a particle size is greater then it take too much time to dissolve means alteration or change in the dissolution rate why because particle size is greater because of this oswald ripening 
there is a formation of the crystals means uh, ideal particle size 0.5 to 5 for the stable suspension if there is a particle size is greater then totally alteration in dissolution as well as the bioavailability simply that means the product is totally unstable see in this picture we can see the oswald ripening phenomena small particle is utilized to formation of the larger particles whatever the kinetic energy of the smaller particle is totally utilized for the formation of the crystal larger crystal and this larger crystal is more stable than smaller crystal right and here we can easily differentiate these terms that is creaming sedimentation flocculation oswald ripening and coalescence creaming sedimentation is totally depend on this particle size right flocculation flocculation is simply the aggregation of these particles oswald ripening here we can see the small particle is simply utilized for the formation of the bigger particle means larger crystal and coalescence means two or more particles simply merge together to form a one molecule one bigger molecule that is coalescence and the oswald ripening is a phenomena is observed in a solid solution that describes change of inhomogeneous structure because of this oswald ripening because of this oswald ripening crystal growth there is a change in inhomogeneous structure of this solid solution is observed that is small crystals or soil particles dissolve and again it redeposit onto large crystals right smaller particle dissolve and again it redeposit on the large crystals this is known as oswald ripening phenomena this oswald ripening is instability problem of this pharmaceutical suspension thank you thank you for watching